To study superficial and deep reflexes, materials required are an examination couch and a patella hammer. A patella hammer consists of a long metallic handle and a triangular rubber piece. The triangular rubber piece further consists of a broad end and a pointed end. The long metallic handle consists of a pointer and a nylon hair. The nylon hair is used in sensory system examination. The pointer will be used to elicit plantar reflex. While using the patella hammer, make sure you are using your wrist joint. You are not supposed to move your shoulder joint. The superficial reflexes are plantar reflex. The subject is asked to lie supine on the couch using a blunt object or a pointer from the patella hammer, gently scratch the outer edge of the foot from heel towards the toe and then medially make sure that you stop scratching right before the great toe. In a normal person, flexion of the four outer toes takes place. With the increase in strength of stimulus, all the toes are flexed and ankle becomes dorsiflex and inverted. This is called flexor plantar response. A positive Bevinsky sign is when dorsiflexion and extension of the toes, especially the big toe and fanning of other toes takes place. A positive Bevinsky sign can indicate an upper motor neuron lesion in adults, but it is normally present in infants. Deep reflexes are knee jerk, ankle jerk, tricep reflex, bicep reflex, supinator reflex and jaw jerk. Knee jerk lying position. Ask the patient to lie in supine position and to flex his knee and hip joint. Pass your hand under the knee that is to be tested and place it on the opposite knee as shown in the picture. Now strike the patella tendon midway between its origin and insertion. Reflex shows a brief contraction of the quadricep femoris muscle resulting from the extension of knee. Knee jerk sitting position. The patient is asked to sit on the bed with leg hanging freely over other knee or over the edge of the bed. Now strike the tendon with patella hammer. Spinal segment involved in this reflex are L2, L3 and L4. If there is no response, gymnastic maneuver or reinforcement is employed. This is done by asking the subject to perform some strong muscular effort such as clenching of teeth or locking of finger and asking him to pull it as hard as possible. This is shown in the picture and then the test is done again. Ankle jerk. In a supine position, place the subject's lower limb in inverted and slightly flexed position. Then with one hand, slightly dorsiflex the foot so as to stretch it. Strike the tendon of gastrocnemius muscle, which is shown in that picture, with the other hand. Reflex shows sharp contraction of the calf muscle leading to plantar flexion of the ankle joint. Spinal segment involved are S1 and S2. Tricep reflex, lying position. Ask the subject to lie supine, flex the elbow and allow the forearm to rest across the subject's chest. Tap the triceps tendon just above the olecranon with the narrow end of the patella hammer. The tricep contraction might be leading to extension at elbow. Tricep reflex, sitting position. Support the forearm of the subject with your one hand in semi-flex position and then proceed to strike the tricep tendon above the olecranon. The spinal segment involved in this reflex are C6 and C7. Bicep reflex. The elbow is flexed to a right angle and the forearm is placed in semi pronated position. Then the examiner places his thumb on the bicep tendon and strikes it with the pointed end of the patella hammer. The bicep contraction might lead to flexion at the elbow joint. C5, C6 spinal segments are involved in this reflex. Supinator reflex. The patient's elbow is flexed to a right angle and forearm is placed in semi pronated position. Tap the supinator tendon upon the styloid process of radius. Supination muscle contracts leads to supination of elbow. C5 and C6 spinal segments are involved in this reflex. Jaw jerk. Ask the subject to open his mouth but not too widely. Place one finger of the left hand firmly on his chin and then tap it suddenly with the finger of right hand. 
masseter muscle contracts resulting in closure of the jaw trigeminal nerve is involved in this reflex fading of reflexes grade zero is absent for clonus